Archidoc, Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Buddhist Society, and we are here at Homo Dojo in Valencia, Spain. And today we are uh, starting a new series called Dento Vision. This Dento Vision, uh, Dento means tradition. Then uh, in this series we would like to share with you some of the details, some uh, explanations concerning or deepest knowledge about uh, different ways of, uh, of behaving in war combat. Today, what we will, uh, we will deal will be the study called Koshi Jime. Koshi, it means hips, and Jime comes from Shimeru, that means to lock or to close. Uh, this uh, Koshi Jime means to, to lock uh, the hips, and this is a classical way to behave when we are attacked by someone uh, carrying or handling a sword and he is attacking me on Makuchi. Here on my left I have my student Oscar Sanz. He will, uh, we need to understand that, uh, that in this study we could uh, deal with people uh, wearing an, a classical armor, a yoroi, or not. Then uh, the way to react on any of the circumstances we will have it will be different. Firstly, I will explain when he is not wearing any kind of armor. Then we will use his own tanto to pierce and stab in different points and uh, as uh, many ways that we have explained in all the videos. Then, for example, Oscar Tan, please uh, try to stab me at full power speed. Uh, with the idea to reach me on this Makuchi. What, I, what we will have from this season is to enter inside, escaping from the attack by going in the inside, and from here we will restrain and control here on the backs and mainly on the hips. Because the system believes uh, seriously that in this position it will be very difficult to react because moreover we are controlled on the back and he is incapable to reach with the sword. Moreover we have access to the uh, lesser arms, to the shorter, uh, sorry, the lesser weapons, the shorter weapons that he could be carrying in the, in the obi. And from here of course we have control to, uh, to grab on this position, cut, stab here and of course stabbing on the stomach, stab on the thumb, also on the groin area here and, for, and of course on different possibilities we could reach here cutting, stabbing, also in the eye, also in this area of course we could enter on the armpit that also it's a very common uh, target because uh, wearing armor or not it's a very uh, weak uh, possibility and from here of course we could enter study on different points having control and from here carry into the ground and also uh, also to continue to stab uh, in different roles. Then this is one of the classical ways to react, to behave and uh, when he is not carrying an, uh, an armor but what it happens if he has? We will uh, use several skills regarding what it's only Umo that we have also explained on several prior videos. Then the most important thing here, when he's attacking me on two power, enter, have control, also to gain control to the uh, to the to the handling his own knife here, because this will be like a deception because he could uh, be aware of not letting me to have control of the tanto here but my, my legs will enter on this position because this will be the, the, the one thing that uh, we will try from here I could of course take out the tanto pierce on different sides to continue the attack but the most clever idea here it would be the following. From here, sorry, entering and turning here to have this powerful lock on the knee and also on the ankle. Because from here we could step on, we could knee on and break this and also reach the area 
of the uh, of the neck, etc. The next one that we could behave here, for example, one more time, full power attack with the sword. I will be going to the back one more time, having control also one more time with the deception here, and I will go forward here and at the same time going down to the ground. From here, I will also take the sword. Remember that he is wearing an, air, an armor in this, uh, in this circumstance, in this situation, and this is a new uh, way to behave. Then, uh, when he is wearing an armor, it's very easy to access uh, the limbs, to access the joints, because uh, they are uh, weak, they are not protected. Then, from here, I will cross here to have this control and the next movement that I will perform here it will be to reach the ankle to go up here have this control I will release to pass here and have this powerful control here when I extend the pressure it's so high here it's very painful on this area and here of course we could grab this that is the most powerful uh, lock because from here I could take an extension here and this is very very painful I could try from here also grab here and for course this is very powerful control here the next one we have employed or lower limbs, especially on our legs. But right now, in the next movement, what we will do is to employ our upper limbs, the arms, to to throw him to the ground. When he's attacking me on full power, from here I enter over here, move in order uh, also perform the deception, and my uh, this this hand will reach this knee in this way. One, and move to the ground. From here, I will keep this control here. It's very important that my weight will be waiting his bended leg here. And the following locks is very, very curious. From here, I will go up to pass to the other side. And from here, with this powerful control, we will try to reach up. It's impossible. Sorry, Oskarsan. I am uh, releasing a little the pressure because it's very powerful. It's hard to go up because we have this control here, and with this, it's impossible to go up. If I don't release this and this, sorry, goes up and turn. It's impossible, and he needs to abandon. This is the third possibility that we have here. The last one for today is when we are being on the opposite case. When I will be, because the season also have applied ways to defend when it's the attacker who is suffering the control of the enemy. For example, if we have here handling the sword and I attack on Marco, he will try to reach my hips and control my hips, not forward, but passing backwards. Then from here, he pass, have control here, and he will, for example, try to pass the left foot on this, like the, the way that we have been performing. And from here, what I will do after this, if I enter and start to have this control, from here we have this powerful control, and of course we could open in here, have also this more powerful. This is a very, very hard position. We could move here, we could press here, we could stop here and also be entering on the different sides if he is carrying any kind of armor. And from here of course we could move here, sorry, 
and bread. It will be also so hot and uh, very painful as a way to break completely the knee here. If we move also, we have this powerful control. Moreover, if we knee on the angle, as you can see. These are several explanations how to apply the onigumo on these situations uh, of uh, koshijime. Koshijime is the first explanation that we deal on this new series called uh, Dento Vision. Thank you very much for the attention. Keep watching our channel and videos and see you next time. Thank you.